Hi, Alex Forte here, and I'm going to show you just how effective the hanger can be for improving your takeaway, getting that ideal one piece takeaway that can stop some really bad swing flaws. Now, we need to make sure in the golf swing that we have neutrality as much as possible and we want a shallow angle of attack. Now what can happen and what we see happen a lot and this is why this is so good is when people have a takeaway they're often very eager to to roll those hands out and what happens is we lose this see how the in between the, the arms see the forearms here we have a bit of neutrality we have a gap on each side but when we roll those arms we lose that and we strike ourselves here and this is what happens to a lot of people so here are some keys that I want you to have during the takeaway. I'm going to show you on this way first and then from down the line. So we need to make sure that we've got uh, the uh, end of the hanger pointing towards our belt buckle. We want the hips to be turning. We want the, the club to be outside the line. But notice all the way through this, I'm not hitting myself. I'm keeping the hands neutral. That's the key that's happening here. So from down the line, what I'm talking about is this rolling of the wrist. And we can still get the club sort of on plane, if you will. But what happens here is we're ver we, you know, you're going to have a tendency to come over the top, which is a big problem for most of you. So what we can actually try and do with the, a more neutral position here, with the butt of the club pointing at the belt, we've got the hips turning, we've got the club face outside of the hand path, and now we're hinging up just a little bit steeper. And what that's going to do is enable us to be a bit more shallow on the downswing because we'll have this slight rerouting with everything working in harmony together. So I'll show you the bad thing is that's where a lot of us will get. So we're on plane, but the arms are rolling. But I, can, I know now from this position, because I did it too early, I've got this sensation from the hanger. So I want to keep that outside then I'm hinging up and then I'm coming through. So let's try and emphasize this a little bit. So we take it out, belt buckle, hands outside the line, a little bit steeper, and then we come through. Just like that. We're not trying to hit big shots, we're just trying to get the takeaway just right. So let's go through that again. So we've got the one piece takeaway, nice and smooth. Belt buckle with the end of the hanger here, hips turning, club outside the line, a little bit steeper wrist hinge, and then let the club fall. And this is what's going to give you the strike that you want every time. So there's three key points. Make sure that you have neutrality when you set up. Keep the hands, the club face outside of the hands, pointing at the belt buckle, and a little bit steeper so we, the line of the hanger is just perhaps at the ball or just inside, and then let your instincts take over to have a nice extension through the ball and get the results you want. So let's try and put it into one smooth move. The hanger is really useful for so many areas of your golf swing and short game, but the takeaway can really be improved using this wonderful piece of kit. Hope you like that. If you have any questions, just leave them below. Thanks.